What is going on guys? This is Benny. We finally got our legendary arena value pack offer. You guys know I was striving to get this for the longest time when we finally got it, but I'm actually back up in trophies now, up at like 4,800 trophies. I do intend to push a little bit more. We still have 10 days left on the season, but after my first match, gonna be opening this legendary arena value pack. This is the ultimate champion chest. I'll start off with a super magical chest for you guys right here though. Hopefully we get a good legendary to start off this video. I mean, I really want a miner, <laughs> to be completely honest. We'll take the log. Uh, yes, it did get nerfed, but we only need we only need 18 more to max it out. But hey, starting off this video good. Uh, we are able to max out the tornado now as well, so that's also a positive. So, yeah, this is a legendary arena value pack. <sighs> 25 bucks. But I, I definitely think it's going to be worth it for this video. So we're also going to open up these free chests. And I'm starting to save up the magical chest and hopefully we get like a legendary chest or a super magical chest soon. The, the, the deck that I'm running right now this is the goal. Um, but guys, make sure to like if you guys are hyped for that draft chest opening. Let me know if, if you guys have got the offer. Um, as soon as you hit, if you have not been in legendary arena yet, if you have not hit 3,800 trophies, as soon as you hit 3,800, like I'm, I'm stumbling over my words here for whatever reason. As soon as you hit 3,800 trophies and you come into or you make your way into Legendary Arena, you will get this one-time offer. Uh, so definitely, I recommend getting it. Uh, it's a guaranteed Legendary and you get great cards, you get to choose a reward. I know not everyone has $25 to spend on Clash Royale though. So if you have the means to, if you play Clash Royale a lot, you like it, I'd say it's worth it if you are a big fan of the game and you don't mind spending money. You know, if you're one of those, if you're like a free-to-play player, I recommend otherwise. Uh, maybe just hold on and wait. I'm sitting on a lot of elixir here trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> uh, well, actually, lightning spell, hopefully. I just made the biggest misplay. Guys, we're going to full concentration mode right now. Because you can see I just missed that freaking musketeer. Try not to... Try not to swear there. <laughs> I caught myself. For those of you who are wondering why I sounded so weird. But basically what we... Oh, oh dude, that mini peg almost got the hit off. But basically what we're trying to do is, is hold out for dear life until double elixir. When that happens, we have a huge advantage. And most people can't keep up with the golem then. So I'm fine with taking that fireball hit. I still get some elixir back. I might drop the golem here. Uh, I don't have my lightning spell on rotation just yet, but we are almost in double elixir. Uh, I think I'm gonna drop it here. By the time we get to his side, I think we should hit double elixir, and I think we should. We will have our lightning spell on rotation in case. I don't think he has an inferno tower. It wouldn't make sense that he would run more buildings, but anything's possible in Clash Royale. I've seen it where people have like furnace. The tombstone and an inferno tower like usually when you think they have one or the other you don't think you'll have to worry about it But sometimes you still too Hit that double elixir though The freeze okay. I wasn't not expecting the freeze. I'll tell you that right off the bat but Now we're gonna actually lightning spell the musketeer. Oh and whatever he dropped there. I didn't see what was dropped Maybe another ice wizard. I don't know. It was too quick for me to notice that I wasn't paying attention down there So sadly our golem is Pretty much dead, but we have a bunch of baby dragons going ham. Uh, we should take this tower. Nah, never mind. Uh, the baby dragon might take care of the, the the hut, but we have a lightning spell if we need to. 502. So we're two two damn two health points off or two hit points off. Uh, might as well do it so we can log. Uh, he's gonna fireball. Now I can safely drop the elixir collector, and I'll drop it in a defensive place this time. In case that hog ratter decides to come out, drop the skeletons, log it, and then GG. So that big misplay in the beginning, due to me not paying attention, talking to you guys. A lot of you, um, a lot of you do understand, but some of you don't. Is like talking and playing sometimes is like very distracting. It takes it takes practice to be able to talk and play at the same time. Uh, and I forgot to have one of my chests unlocking. That means I potentially missed out on a super magical chest. You never know. <laughs> never know what your luck is. I think I've only ever had th two or three free super magical chests. I think three. Three free super magical chests from matches. Uh, but here we go. Let's get into this special offer, guys. All set. Legendary Arena Level 11 Ultimate Champion Draft Chest. <laughs> it's a big name for it. Got a decent amount of gold. Uh, these these first ones probably aren't gonna be super exciting because I have everything 
for the commons like maxed and i think a majority i'm pretty sure i have all the rares maxed now too it's just the epics and legendaries i do not so either way we'll never take the royal giant ever um they're both maxed it doesn't even matter i don't know why i'm taking so long on these picks <laughs> honestly oh we did get the sparky in the graveyard this one's tough. If I take the graveyard, it evens it out between the two. I was actually hoping that I was going to get two. Uh, two out of two legendaries. I don't think I was over friendly battling. But two out of two legendaries. Oh, oh, oh my god. Dude, we did get the double legendaries. Double legendaries. Let's go. I have only ever seen it where it shows like the double. Like it shows two for this one and two for that one. So two legendaries out of the same chest. We're 100% taking this Electro Wizard. You guys know this is a very good card, and I was so mad when I was so close. Oh, um, I'll take the extra gold because the P.E.K.K.A. we already have maxed out, so we'll take the extra gold on that. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I've seen it where it shows like, like a legendary, like a Electro Wizard, and maybe like the log, and it'll show like you can pick two Electro Wizards or two logs, but never back to back legendaries. Oh, it's basically separate legendaries in the same chest. We make sure we'll like for that. That is so awesome. Legendary arena value pack. Let's go. I am in the I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because it's kind of late at night. You guys saw there was like there wasn't much time. There's only an hour left on the on the offer, and that means it's almost midnight here. But I am in Bootstrap's clan, by the way. Uh, everyone speaks <laughs> Norwegian in here, or everyone is Norwegian. Um, and I don't know the language, so you can see right there, <laughs> someone was talking to me. I was like, I said they only know English. I wish I knew another language for sure, but I don't. So I'm, I'm actually extremely hyped that we got that freaking Electro Wizard. And then that, uh, I forgot what the other one was, Graveyard or the, what was it? The Graveyard and I don't know. I picked the Graveyard and the Electro Wizard. I forgot what the ones I didn't pick, but that's crazy, dude. Back to back legendaries out of the same chest. That's crazy. I'm so pumped for that. But I got now I gotta focus, re recollect the thoughts. Um, Lava Hound is a very tough matchup for us. He's a level 11, so we do have a big advantage. But look at his Lava Hound. Literally, his Lava Hound is almost um, is like his legendary card is on level with my legendary card. So this level 11 guy, uh, I, I don't, I'm not sure how that actually came to be, but I didn't get really. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, Lava Hound is like, I kind of, if I'm out leveling them, I can have a very good matchup versus them. I know that's really bad to say, but it's true. And if it's like on even level or like a someone that's my level or even like a person like this who has at a high level, it's very tough because I opted, this main battle deck focuses around having the, the Mega Minion instead of the Mini P.E.K.K.A. The reason why I have the Mini P.E.K.K.A. is because everyone runs Royal Giant. I hate playing against Royal Giant, and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. pretty much shuts that down. Um, but but it but it takes away your air defense, really, and you can see what's happening. I don't really have a whole lot to stop the Lava Hound, so that's why you kind of give and take with ladder matches. It's like, whatever. Uh, it does suck, but I come to terms with it that I have a tough matchup versus it, and that's how you got to play, honestly. Like, you got to be okay with compensating in other areas and being okay with other but i, I did have it play, play it was able to play it better this time <laughs> uh i just hope we get to double elixir and can do something a little bit later uh i just wasted the log i forgot the golem would have killed all of that now we're getting punished for it a little bit the mini pack if it gets to the tower it'll go ham okay this is where our level dominance is starting to come into play. I wasn't going to drop the baby dragon, but I don't think I can. We're going to push golem left hand side. I mean right hand side. Um, Do I dare drop this in a defensive spot? I will. I don't want that balloon getting anywhere near the tower. This is... I don't know how I want to defend this, guys. We're just going to lightning here. Drop some skeletons. Baby Dragon should take care of some of that. But if I lose my tower here, it's pretty much GG. So I'm going to Lightning Spell his tower. Hopefully we get some more damage done. Okay, that was a wasted Lightning. He probably has his Lightning too. 
We still got it. We somehow pulled it out. We have the two levels advantage. Honestly, if that was an even level, hold him with that GG, man. That was a good game. If it was like even level with, with his towers being level 13, I'm pretty sure I would have lost that match because I have a terrible matchup versus Lava Hound decks. And the only reason why I think we won that was my advantage there. So, but I, but I know that risk going into it, like it sucks, <laughs> but I, 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 I come to terms with it. Like, I just do not want to lose to Royal Giant, and with the Mini P.E.K.K.A., it's really hard to lose to the Royal Giant unless you really do something wrong. Because other than that, it has a good matchup first. Mostly every, mostly, most other things I should say. And I'm okay that he's, with him rocketing my King Tower, I'm assuming that it's a Royal Giant battle deck, but I'm, I'm fine that he did that. Because I would rather have that than my regular towers. And I'm actually going to start off with a Golem. Uh, this is a risky call because if he has Inferno Tower, okay, there it is. He's dropping it now, which I know that I'm going to have to deal with it eventually. Um, I'm cool that he's dropping that as well. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. Double Elixir, I have a much better shot. Um, you know what? We're just going to do this right here. Kind of did did a good job baiting the log there, but my, when my golem blows up, he should kind of kill those the goblin gang because it's oh we got. I think it was a little early on the drop there. It just destroyed his skeleton army. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. So very good opening push. Um, I'm not sure why he dropped that inferno tower so early. It really kind of messed them up because then my lightning spell was gonna kill it because it had lower health. Uh, the princess is level 5, dude. Okay. Um, this goblin gang might be a nuisance. So we're literally just going to do this to get rid of the princess. I don't have anything else to take care of her. So we did get a decent amount of chip damage. But I don't see him winning in double elixir. I, I just don't. Uh, with my... Right now I was going to hit double elixir. I'm going to drop the golem the right hand side. I might, I'm probably gonna open another super magic chest after this, guys. If we, I'll, I'll, I'll do it if we win. What does that sound? Is that a fair trade? Fair deal. Mm, this push is looking kind of, kind of iffy. Get rid of the princess. E ooh, he almost got the tower. But we know that Inferno Tower is coming out right now. Um, I'm totally okay with that. We're gonna forfeit the tower. Uh, doesn't even pay to go after it at this moment. Our lightning spell should take care of the inferno. Um, I need that log, yo. There it is. Princess, we can't do much about. Golem goes down, but our mini Pekka should get a hit in there. Oh my god, King Tower killed it. That's all right. Um, defensive here. Goblin gang coming out. Mm, it's all right. I don't think he, there's no way. No way he's got this. That rocket did not come out. But either way, we got the victory. Rising the ranks. What are we three and all this video? That doesn't happen very often. Playing with a GG. Um, you guys can see my daily limit. Yeah, at the beginning of today, like earlier this morning, I was at like 3,800 trophies to get that offer, and now it's at the end of the night. So I rose like a thousand trophies today. Um. Honestly, it's been, I don't even, do I, did I lose today? I, I did have a defeat to a Royal Giant, oh my god. <laughs> I don't remember how that happened. We lost to Lava Hound, see, bad matchup. So, two losses on the, the another one here. Balloon, Giant Balloon with Minion Horde. I don't remember losing to that. I don't know, one of these I actually, since I forgot to, this is me sound bad, but one of them was, I battled when I had full chest slots. And I was like, yo, I'm not gonna get anything. And I, I just want another win to complete my cycle more. So I actually let the other person win. <laughs> and then I continued on. <laughs> so one of those is that loss. But the other ones you can see this air stuff, the one Royal Giant. It might've been that one that I let him win. I'm not sure. Uh, we could watch the replay if we wanted to. But other than that guys, double legendary on the value pack, like back to back. I've never seen that. I'm so pumped for that. That was crazy. Finally can upgrade or max that legendary Wizard. There we go, we'll do that for you guys. Since we have a lot of gold now, I mean, why not? So there's legendary account, the other stuff I 
slowly working on upgrading here and there but hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you would if you had the option would you buy this ultimate champion draft chest offer if you get to the uh the legendary the new legendary arena i i mean for me it's worth it because i make the video on it of course for you guys if you like already opening chest I, and i think it's definitely a good value so that's my thoughts but i know not everyone has 25 dollars to spend or wants to spend 25 dollars on clash rail but either way i hope you enjoy the video make sure that we did and don't subscribe for more clash rail dude 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 I'm messing up these words like crazy. Don't forget to subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. Definitely subscribe because I'll be doing some more, uh, some more big chest openings soon. But if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.